let's take another practical problem on APs. In a cinema theater, there are 40 seats in the last room. 35 in second, 30 in third, and each successive row follows similarly. If the number of seats in first row is 10, how many rows are there? So what we are told is that there is a cinema hall like this. In the last row, you have 40 seats, then you have 35, then you have 30, then you have 25, and in the last, in the first row, there are only 10 seats. So we are told to find out how many rows are there. So if I were to see this number of seats, these are basically 40, 35, 30, 25, into 10. Now, if we look carefully at this, this is nothing but an arithmetic progression, wherein D is equal to 35 minus 40 is equal to minus 5. And A is 40. So you are supposed to find out how many rows are there. Now, we know that A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Right? So, a n. What is the value of a n? What is the value of a n? It's 10. 40 plus n minus 1 into minus 5. Rest is all simple. 10, 40 plus, minus, actually not plus. It's minus 5 into n is minus 5n. Minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5. Or 10 is equal to minus 5n plus 45. Now transposing 5 into this side, I get 5n. And moving 10 to this side, I get 45 minus 10 is equal to 35. Or n is equal to 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. So there are 7 rows in all in the cinema theater. So that's how basically you apply arithmetic progressions to kind of arrive at various solutions.